The graph above shows the amount of hydrogen gas released over time when a few pieces of zinc react with hydrochloric acid. Find the rate of reactions at 50 seconds. Okay, just find A, yeah? don't, need to find, don't need to find B, just find A. Okay, uh, my answer is 0 0.64, okay. Your answer may be slightly different, yeah, but you need to check. Okay, the first thing is um, maybe the gradient that you draw is different from mine, okay. But anyway, you see the idea is um, you must draw a line that touch the point, okay, at 50 seconds, uh, somewhere around here, okay. It touched the point but doesn't cross the point, okay. What I draw here maybe uh, is not very accurate. Okay, because uh, drawing graph on a uh, screen is it actually is very hard. Uh, zero point six, I think, should be okay, acceptable. Okay, so and then you try to draw the big triangle, as big as possible. Okay, don't draw a very small one around here. Okay, draw the big triangle. I choose this point because I can read this two hundred seconds easily. I choose this point, and then I found that is uh, one three four one hundred thirty four. Okay, this is one hundred twenty. 130, 32, 34, okay, 134. And then uh, this one I found that it start from 6, okay. This is 10, uh, this is 6. So the height is 134 minus 6, uh, okay. And the width, the width is uh, 200, okay, 200 seconds, uh, 200 minus 0, 200 seconds. So we take 128 divided by 200, so 0 0.64, okay? So the instantaneous rate, eh? the, or the rate, usually they won't tell you it's instantaneous rate, okay? But you see the prepositions that they use, okay? If they say at, sometimes then that is the instantaneous rate. If they say in, first minute, second minute, or in 60 seconds, or in what, okay, and then that will be the period periods of time, okay? Then that's average rate, eh? Actually, for this A and B buff are also uh, instantaneous rate. So if you get 0 0.6, 0 0.62, or 0 0.58, I think uh, that's acceptable.